Hello everyone, welcome to The World According to Jason. Today we are once again going to try some of Japan's unique McDonald's items. Alright, so for today's video, I happen to notice that McDonald's just started a brand new New York style campaign and they have three special burgers and they also have a special shaka shaka fry seasoning. So for today's video, I got just two of the three burgers and that's just because three is honestly, it's too much guys. But I do want to try the third burger as well as a couple of other things on the menu that are unique to at least Japan's McDonald's. They don't have them in the US, they may be in other countries, I don't know. But this will be a part one. So for today's adventure, I got their New York Buffalo Chicken Sandwich, which didn't really look, honestly, if I'm looking at the picture, it didn't really look like a Buffalo Chicken Sandwich, like what we would think of as a Buffalo Chicken Sandwich in the US, but I was curious. And then I also got their New York, I think it was like beef and potato burger or something. I think it has hash brown on it. I'm not sure, we'll get into that in a second. And then obviously I wanted to try out the Shaka Shaka. It's a three cheese blend, so that should be delicious. So without any further ado, let's see what's in this bad boy. So this is the chicken burger, and you can see it's got a poppy seed, or it looks like a poppy seed, or a sesame seed bun. Nice little pillowy bun. On the inside, we've got some lettuce, mayo, pickles, and then the, the chicken patty. And I guess it's maybe doused in a buffalo sauce? I don't know, there's nothing on the underneath. Well, I sure hope this has buffalo sauce on it, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be kind of let down. I mean, there's no beating around the bush, let's just, let's just try it. Mmm. It's tasty. It has a nice level of heat, but I'm not getting like traditional buffalo sauce taste, if you know what I mean. That kind of vinegary, beautifully hot, buttery, but it's tasty. It really is. It's not bad at all. The other thing to note, the chicken patty is a like dark meat chicken. So if you're not a big fan of dark meat, then like this may not be to your liking. It's not like a chicken breast or anything like that with like um, what we would normally have on a chicken sandwich in the US. But it is an enjoyable sandwich, so I'm glad I tried it. All right, next I think we're gonna do the Shaka Shaka fries because McDonald's fries, they have a limited shelf life after they're freshly fried. If you've never had Shaka Shaka fries before, it's really cool. So they'll give you this bag, it says Shaka Shaka potato on it. They give you a spice mix and the fries. So you dump your fries in the bag, then you add your seasoning, pour that in there. Oh yeah. Then you fold up and you shake. That was probably really loud and I apologize. Let's see. It smells cheesy. You can see there's a nice coating of the uh, seasoning over the fries. Let's give it a try. Whoa, that is strong. Maybe I should have used like half the packet. Woo, that is some strong cheese powder on there. It's a little sweet too. It's kind of, it's like a sweet cheese. I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, those are those were tasty. I enjoyed it. All right, last but not least, this should be the beef burger. Oh, didn't mean to rip rip the bag there. Maybe it's supposed to be for like a burger diaper kind of situation, and you weren't supposed to pull it all the way apart. All right, so let's go in for a look here. So same bun as on the chicken sandwich, and then. Ooh, Get that apart there. You got cheese, pickles, some onions. No, oh, no, those aren't onions, those are the potatoes. Okay, so it's not like a hash brown, but chopped potatoes or diced potatoes. And bacon underneath the cheese here. And then I'm not sure if that's like a barbecue sauce. It kind of looks like a barbecue sauce. I think it's more of a Japanese barbecue sauce than, than a Western style barbecue sauce. It's not as smoky. All right, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Hmm. 
I'm not really sure what they were going for here, unless there's something about New York burgers that I don't know. I usually don't think of potatoes on burgers or whatever this sauce is. And it's kind of a little bit bland if I'm being honest. I'm not really like digging this one so much. The barbecue sauce is kind of off. The bacon, it's a, it's a Japanese style bacon, so it's not crispy, it's floppy. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. This one, I think I would give a pass. I would not give this one again. The buffalo chicken one, even though it didn't really taste like buffalo sauce, to me at least, it was still tasty. It had a nice level of heat to it. The buffalo chicken sandwich, as we would call it in the US, it definitely was tasty. It didn't have that traditional buffalo style taste that I would really like to see, but it was tasty nonetheless. And it had a good level of heat, so I would definitely get that one again. Hard pass on the New York beef burger. But there is still one more I haven't tried, and so there will be a part two. The last one that they have in their New York style is a shrimp with tartar sauce. So it'll be uh, interesting to see how, how that tastes. I wonder if it'll be like a Western style tartar sauce or the more Japanese style tartar sauce. Based on the results of this burger, I would assume it's probably more the Japanese style tartar sauce because they you know they got to make it catered towards the taste of the people that are living in the region that they're selling the product so it would make sense but we're going to still try it and it's probably going to be delicious so stick around for that but that's going to bring us to the end of this video but don't worry as i mentioned there will be a part two so if you're keen to see that make sure you're subscribed hit the like button as well because it really helps the channel out and if you've gone so far subscribing make sure you hit the bell notification so as soon as part two comes out and the rest of the videos that i make while i'm here in japan come out you're going to be the first to find out about it Thank you so much for sticking around to the end, and until next time, stay curious.